Hi there, I'm AJ at Front Door Realty, and today we're going to talk about six home maintenance projects that you should do for winter. Tip number one, protect your pipes. Make sure to get one of those styrofoam or foam hose bib covers uh, placed on each faucet outside your home. If temperatures drop to around 20 degrees Fahrenheit, it actually poses the biggest risk for bursting pipes. Another thing that you can do to make sure that the pipes inside your home don't freeze uh, is leave the cabinet doors underneath your sinks open to let the air circulate. Tip number two, give your oven some lovin'. And by some lovin', what we mean is that you replace the seal around your oven. Um, about 20% energy loss can happen if there's an improper seal which would be creating longer cooking times as well as um, releasing a bunch of heat into your house when you probably already have a, a temper control setting anyway. Tip number three, check your insulation. When you buy a home that was built 10 years ago, um, code for the home might have been a little bit different then and energy codes and things like that. So by blowing in some extra insulation, you can actually save yourself about $600 a year in energy costs. Tip number four, Get rid of all potential fire hazards. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, you giant box of tinder. If you're anything like us, it's Valentine's Day already and your tree is still sitting there with lights on it. Make sure that you have the local Boy Scouts dispose of it. Usually it's a fee of like 15 or 20 bucks. Um, you can chop it off at your local dump or you can, if you have a fireplace, chop it up and burn it but about $13 million a year in the United States is spent on fire rehabilitation after the holiday season. So make sure that you are setting your home up for success. Tip number five, prevent ice damming. What's an ice dam? An ice dam is an ice dam. No, it's even more feared than icicles when uh, snow starts to melt and freezes again at night. It actually creates a little dam right there in your gutter, preventing water from running off your home. And if you know anything about water, it likes to go through things, including shingles, insulation, and your roofing materials. And that can be a very, very expensive process to remedy. So make sure that um, you are not allowing ice to build up on your roof. Tip number six, get secure. Even after the holiday season, you're still going to be spending gift cards and getting other shipments at your home. Make sure that you are nice and secure. Um, it's just prime time for people to come steal packages off of your front porch. So if you have a locked mailbox or a neighbor looking out for you, call them, hey, you know, um, hey neighbor, my package is supposed to deliver at three, will you keep an eye out for it? And then if you see it, will you snag it and put it inside until I see you next? Um, or you could even have them delivered to a PO box. Uh, you can even opt to pick them up at your local post office. I think that's a pretty cool feature. It might be kind of busy though, but uh, security is always people's main concern around the holiday season. You could also, um, you know, I saw on Amazon these cameras that you hook up by your front porch and if there's any motion, it actually alerts you on your phone. There's a cool app for that. So we hope you enjoyed our video today and that you are setting up your holiday and winter season for success with these six really easy tips. If anybody you know or yourself have questions about real estate, please give us a call. Our number should be right here and we're happy to help. Thanks so much.